Okay, here's a quick setup, a little winter bivy setup I call this. 5 by 7 tarp, urethane coated tarp that weighs 10 ounces. I have two guy lines coming out the front, one guy line in the back which is kind of held up by a uh, piece of wood and a elastic line so that gives me a little bit of height in the back for my feet. And then there's just one stake in the back and two in the front and that's the whole setup right there. I've slept down into there to about 20 degrees with my cheap $40 zero degree sleeping bag. So that's the way it looks like in the, from uh, the front here. And then I just, all I do is I put my rain cover over the opening just to cut down on the wind, retain heat. So the rain cover goes over, or my rain coat goes over like that. Could use my pack cover. So just like that. You gotta get in it with uh, feet first, so critical to have like a knee pad. I got a little foam, closed cell foam pad here that I can sit on or kneel on and then scooch myself in there. And you know, there's not enough room in there to sit up, but there's enough room to move around. Sleeping on a uh, all-weather blanket, one of these plastic all-weather blankets that weighs 12 ounces, two sleeping pads, closed cell foam pad on bottom, and a thermo rest on top. And then a little pillow, got my book in there, got my mittens. So, not much room in there, but it keeps me dry and relatively warm, considering it's 20 degrees and the ground is frozen. Uh, one thing to pound the stakes into the clothes, into the frozen ground, I use these uh, landscape nails right here that you get from Home Depot. They weigh about an ounce each, so they're pretty, uh, but they're, they're galvanized steel, they're not aluminum, and uh, so you can pound them into the ground and they screw in a little bit and I use four of those, or five of them. Two to put down the front, two to put down the guy lines, actually six, one in the back, and then one for the back guy line. So that's my whole setup, cheap, under 100 bucks. It works, not, not fantastic, but it works. Okay, I'm calling this my quick winter overnighter uh, kit. Somewhat light duty in sense of winter, and it's a cold camp, not a heated uh, tent stove. So I have that 5 by 7 urethane coated tarp, uh, weighs 10 ounces, and uh, I pound it in the ground, the frozen ground, I can get down to 20 degrees, I don't know if it's semi-frozen, uh, with these landscaping nails. Now these weigh an ounce each, they're about 6-7 inches long, you can get them at Home Depot, and you can pound them into the frozen ground, uh, you know, depending on how frozen it is, but a lot better than aluminum stakes or titanium stakes. Or, even the groundhogs, the MSR groundhogs, I wasn't able to pound in the frozen ground. But these kind of spiral in, so you can get them in the ground. And I use six of those, and that's six ounces. Uh, for my ground cloth, I'm using this all-weather blanket. It's a 5 by 7 all-weather blanket. Uh, reflective on one side, olive green on the other. It weighs 12 ounces, so it even weighs more than that tarp. But here's what I've done. What I found out, and again, I always, you know, I'm a big believer in testing my gear out, so in, in the yard overnight. I tested this my 5x7 uh, tarp set up out and it was okay but it was raining that day, it was drizzling, raining, 32 degrees and I was starting to get a little wet so I figured I need to wait to keep my uh, sleeping bag a little drier. So what I did is created this little pocket in here, so kind of like a semi bivy sack out of this 5x7 just by tying two loops here and putting some duct tape there. So now my sleeping pads can uh, slide in there and they don't go out the bottom of the tarp as easily and stays in place. So I just kind of slide this whole thing in here like this and there it is. So I got my closed cell foam pad. That's a thin quarter inch closed cell foam pad just to try and reduce the bulk and weight. And then my thermorest pad which I've had for like 20 years. So that, that does me okay. And then on top here I can use this foam pad and these kind of flare up on the sides. So they're up like that a little bit in, underneath there. So that keeps it, you know, a little pocket in there for my stuff. And that works pretty good. So now I'm going to just uh, do another clip here of kind of all the winter gear that I've been using for what I call a quick overnighter.